All right, I'm going to try my best to go over the Flame Keeper title. This is for the Solstice Event 2022. Uh, this title won't be available to get after three weeks of this recording around there, basically, uh, when the event ends. Of course, I'm going to try to go over also uh, the how the event works, getting the currencies, and also the white glows and how that works as well. Just because all that's intertwined with this title and this event all, all together, pretty much. As soon as you finish the title, you finish the white glow. So this video may be very long. I try best to explain things and show some stuff here and there. Um, so everything be timestamped and even in you know, a written description. Everything. If I miss anything, then comment below. If I miss anything, you need some extra help with some other stuff. All right. So let's get started here. Talk about the title real quick. Title, if you don't know how to complete it, you want to head to your event challenges and finishing all these event challenges all 24 will nab you the title but for some reason since you can guild this title for whatever reason uh you can also get these triumphs early before you actually finish the title so these actually count towards the total amount before you finish the 24 in total so if you finish these two which are you can finish very easily uh which is getting 20 points in bonfire bash and die without dying in that activity then you can skip technically two of these triumphs to get it early but of course you want to finish the title first or not first but the title in general to get the white glow to get the full white glow for your full white glow armor basically so let's get started and talk over about these triumphs here so when you first start this event everything will be a secret basically so go again but the first thing you need to do is head to eva in the tower of course and she'll give you a quest and what she wants you to do is equip all the armor. So equip all the armor she gives you. That's important. If you lose an armor, uh, you can go buy more from Eva, but I think it's a bit buggy with that. Then once you put on all that armor, she gives you some silver leaves, right? And what you do with that silver leaves, you go ahead and play Bonfire Bash. You want to make sure you equip your armor. The more armor you have equipped, apparently, the more silver ash you get, which is another currency. Silver Leaves, Silver Ash. When you complete Bonfire Bash, depending on how much you put into the bonfire, which the max is 20, you can, you can do a little bit more, you'll get, uh, you can have a max of 26 ash uh, leaves converted over to bonfire, to the Silver Ash. Um, from my experience, that's what the number, the max I got from it. And it's about a five to one ratio. So if you were to send in one silver leave, you'll get five silver ashes, basically. So that's how that works with the max amount for that. And then once you do that, then uh, she wants you to go ahead and pick up the triumph, which is the one complete a bonfire bash activity. And that'll give you one kindling. Kindling is important as each of these challenge each of these challenges gives you one kindling. And what that means is that that is what you use to upgrade your armor to a white glow. Each piece of armor will cost six kindling to upgrade, which is just the four over here. The class item does not have a kindling just because uh, you use the silver ash to reroll the stats of your other armor to get high stat armor. Since the cloak or the class item is not random rolled, there's no point to having that system on it. So it doesn't matter. So there are 24 divided by six, which equals, you know, four. So you have the helmet, gauntlets, just armor, leg armor, all that, all the challenges you need to get the full set. That's why I'm saying that to get the full white glow, you need the title as well. You get the title as well. It's either or you want the white, full white glow title. If you want to get all of the, if you want to get the title, you need the full white glow. It's either or whatever you want to say. It's the same thing, basically. So with that, you pick it up. You go ahead to your armor. And there will be an extra slot here. Uh, about, uh, let's say, an extra slot before this one. No ember imbued. The one before it, which is not this mod socket, of course. I can't show it because I don't have it anymore. We'll have kindling. Once you do it one time, it will increase to two. And then after that, it will be three. Like I said, six in total will be the amount to make it a white glow. That's just how it is. There's nothing to speak up. There's not, you can't get more than 24. You have to do every single challenge that's located here to get the white glow for your armor. Once you do that, then she's like, okay, go ahead and use your silver ash, upgrade it. Uh, people might be forgetting, not forgetting, but 
kind of like uh it's a, it's a gameplay loop of doing activities to get silver leaves and then doing bonfire bash to get silver ash um you all the only time you need to use your silver ash is for that quest she gives you uh, if you want to keep upgrading your gear to the uh, white glow you don't need silver ash to keep getting you know to progress and finishing the white glow you can just keep you can ignore it but you do need it for one of the triumphs which we'll go over in a second here of course so i don't worry too much on grinding singly grinding uh silver ash that is not efficient there's no point just we we're going to go through every single triumph and what's important to min max or be efficient you can do multiple triumphs at the same time which will help save a lot of time basically and those activities you put to do will give you silver leaves and you can go back and do the bonfire bash to get silver ash if you worry about that too much don't worry about it too much you'll get a lot of silver ash uh, the max you can hold for silver leaves is 100 and like I said earlier, um, when you do Bonfire Bash, it takes about like 26 of it. So you go, it doesn't even use up the full 100. So you're you always going to have a lot if you need to run a lot. So save up your silver leaves and then run Bonfire Bash a lot uh, in, a, in, in a bit. So that's pretty much the gist of the uh, the currency and the event. I think hopefully I explained it hopefully well uh, for the most part. But that's just a way to upgrade your gear pretty much. So let's get started here. So like I said, this is automatically completed. Nothing to worry about. Then we have good ignite, defeat ignition carriers, and bonfire bash. So what that means is that when you play bonfire bash, um, you have to kill these igniters and or ignition carriers basically. And they're spawn in four different spots, and they would be obviously marked on the map or marked around the map with a diamond uh symbol, and you just want to go ahead and kill them. The best way to be fast about this is pretty much uh, you, you want to be by yourself and have like a shotgun or a fusion rifle, you know, two shot those wizards, uh, the cabal or the fallen captains. Uh, those are very quick, very easy to do. Um, and when you have the ball, I, I could show footage of this, but you don't have to. If you do miss, you miss that ball. You don't want you want to be that guy to just miss all the time. Um, so what you want to do is if you're very far away from the bonfire, you want to aim pretty decently high and just hit it and just throw it from where you are uh, if it, with a line of sight, of course, you can see the bonfire. Uh, if you throw it up high enough, it will pretty much uh, track towards the bonfire and it should be pretty good. So just, pay, you know, practice a little bit Then aim, start aiming. You want to be as fast as possible as soon as you put the bond, uh, the igniter into the bonfire it will spawn the next ignition carrier so the more the faster you get the ball in the more the faster you get the activity done pretty much so 20 of those this is all on you there's no there's no retroactive here you, you can't your teammates you know uh unless you i guess tag an enemy probably i don't know anyways next one we have torch taken this one is sound it looks wrong it, it is when you first play you kill like two taken and oh, wait that it didn't count towards other taken i've killed the way this works is to take in every uh five and 12 when you deposit your ignite ignition or igniters inside the bonfire you'll have like a public event that will randomly spawn taken uh around the map use the cabal cannons to get on the roofs or just use your sparrow which people forget about to drive around the eaz and you'll get to the spots fast there will be two there will be a, a, a Blight that spawns and two Taken will spawn. Uh, you have to get the kill participation to get the progress. Only two Taken bosses spawn. The Blight doesn't count towards the progress. So make sure you hit the Taken, the taken bosses uh, before you kill them or you know before you miss them. And you only focus one of them. And four will spawn per activity. You want to do more than four bond or you can do you know more than uh, five or six bonfire bashes to get this done so you just want to be done passively as long as you're going towards the taken public event and doing damage towards taken bosses all right make sure you do that next we have field of fire this is pretty passive this is this is it is not towards yourself if you get 20 your team is 20 in total you get 20 progress for this uh triumph here so if you as long as you're getting 20 per uh activity 
then you get this done very quickly and there's gonna be more in the future here next we have collect 500 silver ash like i said this one's pretty passive as you'll be playing a lot of other activities which will give you silver leaves don't focus on farming silver ash you will get a lot of silver ash trust me on this one uh do not focus this all right just continue playing the game do not focus it next we have all around the bonfire this one uh is during the bonfire activity or bonfire bash activity there will be different races that will spawn after you kill the first taken blight and you'll know that by the ship that spawns you kill do this six times which is six activity completions so what this means is that no matter what you're going to at least do six and the other other ones will be passive and you'll you know want to make sure you be efficient and have silver don't farm this have silver leaves do other activities like crucible strikes gambit whatever have silver leaves in your inventory then do a bonfire bash just to be efficient and doing everything at the same time okay All right and so what you can do is that if you already finish cabal then when you when you go into bonfire bash and you see it's cabal again you can just leave the, leave the session and then go back to orbit wait a couple minutes and then go back and queue back up and hope you get hive or fallen that's what i did uh, it's been a bit of bm but uh you'll find somebody else will join their match quickly for sure then this one's passive same similar to the first one it's just an extra 50 you'll get this done same thing with this one 150 this one gives you a shit a sparrow which is pretty good looking with a glow on it this one passive you're nothing to worry about there then we have defeat targets anywhere in the system this is super passive it's like one of the first ones you finish so nothing to worry about there solar abilities uh just use a solo subclass when you're doing the eaz or eaz or doing strikes or any other activity this one's pretty passive then we have super lative this one's very passive use a super roaming super or just keep using whatever you want with a solar if you want to do double this solar abilities and super abilities same thing uh pretty easy to do so we have defeat combatants or guardians with power weapons so this one a little bit easier if you're doing you know eaz or ultra or soros or anything of high density enemies this one is done passive uh use whatever you want you can use a sword if you want that makes it a bit faster a little bit easier as swords are a bit efficient on ammo but whatever you want it is it, this one's done passively easy to do then we have defeat opposing guardians in any activity most of the time this would be going to be in crucible right now the rotating game mode for crucible is mayhem um i do recommend if you don't like mayhem but i mean if you have like a roaming super or something like that it makes it a little bit easier to do this and mayhem but if you like a pvp god then i don't know i play trials or do whatever you should be fine if you like pvp but if the more fun game modes like one with the control scorch cannon mayhem play those activities those makes this life a little bit easier then we have the la the these two here defeat uh, defeat targets of hand cannons and shotguns so, so you can equip both of these these took a long time to finish uh you can be that guy and farm like sure like you know the dungeons or like infinite spawns right and get this done you know use your favorite exotic hand cannon use, use your favorite exotic shotgun uh, basically but i would just use it as your normal grind for a bit until you at least finish them so like you're doing like doing the eaz bonfire bash doing strikes doing gambit or doing uh crucible just use them until you finish them and then take them off you don't actually use them normally basically so just you keep using these until you finish them pretty much passively done and with defeat bosses at anywhere in the system this is yellow bars pretty much um this is done passively you do like strikes you do eaz gives you boss progress you do uh dares of eternity you know anything this is just you'll get this done no no need to focus this one this will be done automatically pretty much then we have these the activities now we have some efficient ways to do these so this one is passive don't this is any activity pretty much uh gambit crucible or strikes this will be done automatically if you, you'll understand why then we have public events on any destination if you're doing a heroic public events you get like about 10 percent per completion um when you're doing this i what i recommend for this one is to do it on the Savathun's throne world as this will gain you some progress here 
for this triumph here, which is completing activities in the throne world. Uh, I recommend doing that. Uh, and the good thing about the throne world is that when you, some, most of the time, when you finish a public event, one of these patrol areas, uh, the next one would be the next area. So just go in a rotation here and you get that done pretty easily uh, with that triumph there for the most part. So I recommend if you're doing public events, do it on Thorn Road to get double progress for this one and that one. And it takes about, you know, 10 or 15, 10 to 11 public events, horror public events for this one. Then we have patrols at any of this destination. Um, I did this on the moon. The moon has the easiest patrols. Uh, the scanning ones are the easiest one because you just you pick up the uh, put a scanning patrol and that will give you a scan in the exact same area. Similar to Thorn Road has, has the exact same ones as well. 10 is very easy. Sometimes it gives you several leaves. Even though it says it does give several leaves, it's like a 20% chance it gives you one. Public events give you four heroic, uh, several leaves in a heroic public event. So that's pretty nice. Next we have Dare to Dream. Uh, there is a returnee gives you 25% uh, progress and a tier 3 heroic gives you 25%. Whatever you think is faster, uh, doing Dares of Eternity, you know, has a lot of bosses in it and you use the weapons to grind. And so, Blind, Blind well has the same amount as bosses a lot too. So up to you where you want to farm. But uh, Blindwell is very fast uh, this week with the two of the bosses, the uh, Scorn bosses and Heroic Public Event. Uh, pretty much. So up to you what you want to do. But uh, I did blind well, which is what I did. It's a bit, it's a pretty fast for that one. Next we have bright fall. This is doing knife falls or strikes. Strikes give you seven percent. A knife fall gives ten percent. I can only assume like a grandmaster or a legend or a master version of knife fall will give you more percent. So I did grind a lot of strikes for this seven percent per completion, and then I did some knife falls over and over again. Hero knife falls, which gives you ten percent. So it took a long time, but you could probably speed this up if you have a fire team for the most part. So good luck with that. This goes hand in hand if you're going to do get this one, obviously. And of course, this gives you uh, a decent amount of silver leaves. So when you get silver leaves, go to do bonfire bash and convert your silver leaves to silver ash, which gets you the triumph um, or the triumph for the uh, get uh, 500 silver ash. So this, this goes hand in hand together. Just make sure you don't max out your silver leaves, which is 100. Next, we have... Probably the longest one, which is complete 25 crystal matches or gambit. Sometimes gambit can be pretty fast, but right now we have mayhem, which is pretty decently fast. If depending on the map size, you know, I wouldn't do the new map, which is on the the uh, uh, Sabathun's throne road. That one's too long. Don't if it, if you map if that map pops up, just go back to orbit. Or the one on uh, on the trials on uh, the nine, right? Uh, that one's too big. That one takes too long. Um, skip those maps if you can. It took a long time, so. But this this is very useful as it you're able to get a lot of things done when you're farming crystal. So like for example, you get the guardian kills. Uh, you get you get hand gang, hand cannon kills. You get shotgun kills if you want. Um, you can get super abilities done. You get solar abilities done. Um, you can get power weapons done. Uh, you can get you get silver ash, and then this gets you silver leaves, right? For silver ash, and you can do then stoking the bonfire. So this is the gameplay loop they want you to do. Don't just go all in on the twenty five. Go back and forth with bonfire bash and getting silver leaves while doing crucible and gambit. That's pretty much the best you could do. Next we have doing sever missions or ultra tutorial for whatever reason. Sever mission give like 10% or 20%. I forget, not a lot. But Alter of Sorrow, from what my experience, I had like 40% saved up. And it, as soon as I finished Alter of Sorrow, it just, it, it just completed. So it gave me like 60% or something. I don't know what, I could be wrong. But Alter of Sorrow, which if you don't know what that is, it is the moon activity. Uh, and you got to do uh, the rounds. I would assume maybe the, the tiers give per percent per. And when I completed the boss, it gave us, I gave me a lot of experience, a lot of progress for that. So uh, I, I recommend Ultra Sorrow for that one. Lastly, we have the Throne World activities. Like I've said, I do put, do the public events while doing, when you complete the public event one, which gives you progress in general, but that gets you at least a 30%. Um, you can do the weekly mission, 
I would assume doing the harder versions will give you more progress. The the uh what do you the hero version gives you like nothing. I wouldn't rec recommend it too much. Um, you do anything, you probably do wellspring. I don't know how much that gives you. You could probably do raids if you want, and probably the strikes. I'm not sure. Um, but you could probably do preservation as well. But what I did to be it's not as fast, but it is pretty fast. I just farmed the miasma meta meta metamorphosis lost sector. Each completion of the lost sector gave me five percent and gave like two silver leaves as well per completion. So you get a lot of silver leaves and it's five percent per completion. Um so you do a lot. But I mean the five percent? Yeah, it's five percent per completion. Um and you can finish the lost sector in about under a minute. What you need to do is that all you need to do uh is to go into the lost sector, skip the score in the beginning, kill the crystals where the hive knight is, kill the three crystals, kill the hive knight. Skip all the scorn, go to the next room, kill the hive crystals, kill the hive knight, go to the boss, kill the hive crystals, then shoot the boss with a rocket launcher, like a Galahorn, and one shots it, then just repeat it over and over again. Exit the lost sector, head back in, repeat, rinse and repeat. It takes about a minute per completion, and you get that done very quickly. That's what I did as a solo player, so up to you what you want to do, but you can do legendary missions, and I'll get you progress for that as well. And that's it, that's all the triumphs there. We're getting the title, and that gets you the glow and everything. All 24 kindling. And like I said earlier, if you want to get the, get the gilded title um, or get the title early, you could do these two, which is fully stoke the bonfire, which is just getting 20 in one run, and then not dying during the bonfire activity, which is very easy to do. Now, these other ones, if you want to gild the title, this one here, even though it doesn't say it, and it, it, it's a bit confusing, but what you can do, it says 12. And people do the math, oh, I need to put on all three characters to get this done. No, you can just do it on any piece of armor. We'll get it done. You need to get, was it 120? So, for example, um, we already have a lot of this armor done already. Um, like, for example, we have this. Uh, this armor is fully maxed out, as we don't have this stat anymore. Plus this, plus this helmet is fully maxed out. Uh, right? And then we have the gauntlets here, which is... Uh, fully maxed out as well. It has a white glow. But like I said, you don't need to max out the armor to get the white glow uh, for the silver ash. This armor right here has the white glow, but we haven't we haven't embered uh, the armor yet, basically, right? So we don't we you know setting up the boots. Boots is a white glow, but we don't have the ember for it yet, right? So if we actually you know fully glow it here, right? Then we will get the progress for that. Uh, for that triumph, and then if I do the chest piece, I'll be five out of five out of twelve. So you can get that one done pretty easily, uh, for the most part. Now, for the high stat armor here, people may be a little bit confused. It's a one-time thing only, and you can use the ghost mod to get a minimum minimum of one plus ten. People say it, could, but people say it can be plus thirty though. Like you will get plus the twenty of discipline plus ten of stat. Um, but I don't know, it's pretty weird, but it's a one-time thing. So choose wisely what you want to use. You can't re-roll, re-roll pretty much of that one armor. But like, I mean, this is pretty, pretty strong already here. I mean, it's not, I mean, I mean, it's not that bad. It's a 62 though, but, uh, I don't know, up to you. If we want to use, they don't get too high, 62 around there, here and there, but, uh, they're pretty good system. I'll be honest with you. Now, here's some bad news. I, I, as of this recording, they, may, they might change it. This is all character based. So if you go to your other characters, like if you're a three character like me, um, then like, oh, I want to get the white glows on my other characters. Then, well, I mean, you have to redo everything again. Nothing is retroactive here. If you go here, you can see all the kindling here. Uh, you have to do everything again and again. And again. The only thing that's pretty much cross save or cross character will be your server ashes and your server leaves, basically. That helps a little bit, of course, with the grind. But, I mean, you want to get them again anyways if you're going to do 25 crucible matches again. I guess I kind of skipped over the gilding thing again, but I, my, my brain went somewhere else. But, yeah, once you get that, once you get the 12 pieces uh, that's upgraded, and, you, and if you're wearing the full set um, and you do like any of these activities here, then you can get this done 
get it gilded. I don't know how much percent. I haven't done it yet, but I'll probably gild it. I'll do some trials, I guess, when it's available on Friday. Um, what am I missing? I'm missing some stuff for sure. Let me think. I guess the other thing is that there is another title uh, that you don't want to miss because it's a, it's a, it takes one year to finish, which will be the Rivoli title. Or Reveler title, my bad. Uh, you will need to get 16 in total. There's 25 in total, 24 challenges in total and, and on the event card. So as long as you get 16 done and can claim the triumph here, then once the other events come by, then you can get this title, which will take a long time. It even says like guilds, but you can't even see it. So I don't know why. I'm not sure what that really means uh, at that point. But uh, yeah, that's, that, that's that title, uh, Reveler. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the event there, the white glows. Oh yeah, I guess people who are new to the game, um, the yeah, elemental glows, elemental glows, you can only buy them from the shop, every shop in the event tab here. It's going to cost you either silver or bright dust. It will cost you 6,000 bright dust, which is a lot, but you get a lot of bright dust from doing bounties and doing your seasonal challenges. And now you know that m mostly every year for solstice. Was, they cost 6,000. So now save up your bright dust for next year. Unless you want to do grind for 6,000 this year, then sure. But it's going to cost you either 1,500 silver or 6,000 uh, bright dust. Elemental glow. Of course, they'll become uh, ornaments and they change between your uh, subclass you have equipped. So we equip the ornament here. So here is uh, the helmet. I'm blind whenever this happens. Right, so if I change my subclass here, void, arc, and then stasis, it shows purple, but it's a bug, apparently. It should be fixed eventually, so don't worry about that too much there. And I think that's pretty much a pretty long video, as always. Uh, I don't know if it was a really good video. I'm very tired. This took me 12 hours, so I, I wish I could show you guys footage, but like I just, I'm a bit lazy right now, and I don't have the... <laughs> motivation to even do another character i'll be honest with you um but I, we'll, we'll see if they even make it a little bit easier possibly i'm not entirely sure but i don't think they're going to do that uh for the most part don't buy the upgraded card it's not even worth it so uh there's that so hopefully you guys enjoy that uh video uh try my best to write it up i guess